What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of indie games, we're going to be taking a look at an absolutely ludicrous title. I played for about the last hour, and it's one of those games that's almost entirely an asset flop, but it's an asset flop that's self-aware of the fact that it's an asset flop, and it's got a ridiculous premise, you are a squirrel with a gun. So we're going to dive on in, take a look at the game, and give you some first impressions so you can decide whether or not this is a title that you want to play. If after watching this you wanted to get Squirrel with a Gun, you can find it down below in the description. From there you can find a link to my Discord and my Twitch stream just in case you wanted to hang out live. But let's take a look at this title. There's no mouse controls inside any of the menus, by the way, so I'm guessing they intend for you to play this with a controller. Off and away we go for a new game. All right, so we've got a giant golden acorn inside a secure government facility. Let's go for it. Oh, okay. All right, I've been denied, unfortunately. Uh, as you may have guessed, we've got to push all the red buttons around here to release the magical golden acorn. So I'll hit the buttons that I can possibly grab for right now. First initial impressions of the visual styling of the game is that depth of field and a number of other post-processing effects have been applied entirely too thickly to the title, uh, which is going to make it sort of like... I don't know, a little bit like, it's a little bit visually jarring when the depth of field to across an 8 foot room unfortunately is already giving you blur. But we can pick up this guy right here, and if we get really sneaky about it we can throw that up there in order to hit the buttons, and then we're still going to need this a little bit later. So let's take it back on over this way and see if we can get this thing opened on up. Two buttons remaining until we are free and we can achieve the coveted acorn okay magical energy shield has now been gotten rid of let's go ahead and get ourselves an acorn I think that we've earned it you know it's been a rough day of squirreling and so let's move our way on over here <laughs> Give me the gun. Eh, yeah, take that. Get on that. We got to deal with the recoil a lot more thickly. Ooh, he's stunned. Let's go ahead and get him. I know. I'm aware. <laughs> okay, more of that. More fatalities. I agree with the fatalities right there, although I think with blood and gore, it would have been a little bit more humorous. Uh, we can shoot the doors open from now on, now that we are officially a squirrel with a gun. And that takes us to our next engagement. Two more secret agents on the back end of this room. They gots to go. They don't understand squirrel superiority. Let's get into cover. We gotta be like a tactic squirrel. Okay, that guy's, that guy's stunned. Let's see if we can get him with the fatality while his buddy's doing whatever the hell his buddy's doing. I don't know what I would do if I was working for the Department of Defense and it became obvious to me at some point that a squirrel had just eliminated one of my squad buddies. Like, I don't even think I know where we go from there. There we go. Just shoot the nuts out of that guy. Perfect. Mm, throw that gun over there. We don't need it anymore. Give us the new gun, which conveniently is full 
of ammunition. All right, let's carry on through this room, right? Oh, and that door panel on up, and it looks like we've made it into, yeah, dude. Uh, basic CIA accompaniment right here dictates that you've got to have like a giant floating lava room I think that's standard operating procedure for a lot of the armed forces. So wait. Oh god. Okay Oh, I can double jump with my pistol very nice. Okay, so we'll keep that all nice and buckled on in But while we're down here, it does seem a little bit strange that the government is keeping so many acorns down inside a secured facility There's something I can pick up right here Max reload energy. Hold Q to reload any gun. All right. I don't think I need to reload just yet, but if I need that extra magazine, I'll play around with it. So far, the jumping and the moving and the general platforming mechanics, they feel pretty solid and well implemented right now. Even with keyboard controls, which are less than optimal for a title like this, you definitely feel like you have control of your character, and so that's good. We've got one acorn over there that it wants me to get control of. Uh, let me reload my gun. There we go. So I've got my gun reloaded. I don't know exactly how I get over there, but the game is kind of like Banjo-Kazooie if you were an enraged squirrel with a firearm that's engaging in his own fuzzy intifada against the rigors and structures of the modern world. Let's grab that reload right there, and then we'll jump over to this side. You never know when I'm going to need more reloads. And I do want, oh, does that just levitate? Nice, dude. I thought I was going to have to, like, double or triple jump to get up to it. All right, so we've got ourselves another golden acorn. I don't know if I can make that jump right there, but I'm going to give it a go. And it looks like we made it through okay. We've got ourselves another firearm dispenser over here just in case we needed further firearms. But I'm pretty happy with the one that I've got right now. I think that I've developed a sort of sentimental attachment to it being inside my inventory. You do have to account for the recoil because the recoil on a 1911 is obviously going to be a little bit much for a squirrel to handle. There we go. So that gateway's been on opened up. Just in case I end up needing the ammo, I'm going to rap tap bang this thing too. And what luck it is that the government's decided to install a whole bunch of dispensers that allow us to reload our guns at squirrel height. Uh, we can climb poles and things like that. Once we get out of here, well, I guess I'll slide down this way to grab the rest of the acorns. I don't know if I need the rest of the acorns, but I'll grab them. And then we'll jump off this way. Is there anything topside right there? If I get like a gun, can I get on top of those? Oh, it looks like I can. Okay, so we're going to need another gun. Let's dispense a gun, and then we'll grab this right here. And I didn't know if that was going to give me the verticality that I required in order to grab this stuff, but we'll grab this over here real quick, too. All right, so we've got our gun. Uh, I'm going to need to, like, reload. That counts as a reload dispenser as well. Good stuff. All right, we made it across the gap, and all of the nuts have become ours. I don't think there's any lower areas that I've seen so far. Oh, no, dude, I missed one. That's okay. I'm going to leave it alone. I need 100 nuts in order to get, like, a Mac 11. All right, let's, let's dispense our nuts right here, as we've been known to do out in public, and we'll get ourselves a Mac 11. Get on out of here, inferior low RPM firearm. All right, give me that. You found a submachine gun. Shoot fast and fly high. Yep, that definitely, I think, is flying high. Does this reload, too? All right, that reloads, too. Can I get on top of that pylon right there? Is there any reason that I might want to get on top of that pylon? I don't think I have a choice. I think we got to do it. Hopefully, I don't fall in lava. Uh, I got no ammo left, unfortunately, and it doesn't look like there's any other place that I can really get to from here, so maybe a wrong turn on that front. Let's jump down this way. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Oh, cool. I can get hyper focus. I need ammo. A pine cone made out of bullets. It will give you reload energy. Yeah, I think we established that. He's been staggered, and now I'm just curious. Hey, don't pick up that gun. I just wanted to see what the fatality was going to be for the Mac 11. See if it was something that was going to be satisfying and made me feel like I am the ultimate squirrel warrior. You know, I had pet squirrels growing up. I've had two or three pet squirrels. They make decent pets, except that they go wild once they get to breeding age. They get a little crazy on you. 
and that's when they start like biting and little tiny squirrel teeth hurt like hell bro don't get bit by a squirrel it's a bad plan all right let's carry on over to here with the last of our ammunition rap tap bang get ourselves a little bit more ammo and we've got a pole that we can climb right there where does the pole go goes up to the top of right there I don't think we need to be up there just yet. I don't know if that's entirely necessary. Give me a few more bullets and we'll see what we can do. So over here, I think we just gotta like climb up. I'm not giving up my SMG. I don't know what the game thinks I'm gonna do, but I'm not giving up my SMG. There we go. And what do we have over here? An eye patch? I get to dress up my squirrel. Okay, yeah, so now we're really ratcheting on in that, uh, that squirrel Che Guevara thing, I guess. Now let's see here. We can climb that pole. But I can get on top of there, I think, and keep my gun without climbing the pole. So I think I'm just going to do that. A little bit more ammo. Fly high, little squirrel. Fly high, little rodent. You've discovered what America discovered oh so long ago. Every activity is better with a gun. Sooner or later, the rest of the world will come around. That's a really, really long jump. And I don't know how that's gonna go. Did I make it? I made it. All right, I was holding my breath and my sphincter was punkered. I don't know if you guys need to know the overall integrity of my sphincter for any of these maneuvers, but you know, I figured I'd give you like a short, quick little update right there. And then we've got the final nut. Looks like I'm missing an ammo pickup right here. Where does it want me to go? It wants me to go over to there. I feel like this jump may be easier from over here. They're going to take my SMG from me, aren't they? They are. I can't climb poles while holding a weapon. Farewell, little Mac 11. You were a glorious firearm, and you will now be consumed by the flames of Mordor. Give Gollum my regards. It's time to leave. Is his little combat beret actually the top of an acorn? Sure, yeah, just what every squirrel wants. A tiny miniaturized version of a Mazda Miata. And now he's made the connection that glorious squirrel capitalism will get him the car that he wants. I don't know if I want to follow this. The neighborhood is an open area with loads of golden acorns to find. Go nuts. I see what you did there, and it wasn't going unaddressed, but there's some nuts under the porch, too. Oh, apparently I guess there's little nuts inside the bushes, too. Beautiful. Uh, so, the game is called Squirrel with a Gun. And I am entirely gunless right now. Does that guy have a gun? He does have a gun. It just didn't load in. All right, I'm going to dink him with a soda can and see if I can steal his gun. Eh. I mean, it kind of worked a little bit. It didn't, like, super work, but it worked a little tiny bit. Take that. Apparently, I knocked him out with a can. It's okay. I have a gun now. Now I can solve all the problems that face me in this terrible anti-squirrel world. The squirrel revolution is now. There's two of you over here. Get gadded on. Ah! Top tier camera work right there. Really liked it. Oh, I got him right in the face. What kind of, like, non-lethal guns are we... I'm just gonna... There we go. We'll just finish him off real quick. Give me all those nuts. Let me get all of them. I got a car purchase to make. Yep, I'm gonna be all up in those nuts. Up to the elbow. Throw that gun over there and get ourselves a new one. Inside Heidi Hedges, you are invisible to enemies, but it doesn't work if you're spotted. Oh, there's a brick? Hold up. I gotta dink somebody with a brick. This, it just, it has to happen, all right? I've got to nail a government agent in the face with a brick. It's the only way that this system works. All right, buddy, hold still for me. 
Well, I mean, I hit him with a brick, and it did work. There we go. Now we've got a fatality. I mean, if I was a squirrel, that's probably the strategy that I would go for as well. You know, Minsk and Boo had, like, a solid observation that when you're a small rodent, the best you can do, really, is go for the eyes. Do I have enough? Oh, I got to get more of the golden nuts in order to get a gun. All right, I'm going to go back to my my top secret gun stash for the revolution. What happens if I just, like, hold up a human being? You, come here. Apparently, I've got really bad aim. Is that a cop right there? Okay. We got it. We're going to keep it on the D-Lo for right now. I haven't seen... Oh, there's one nut right there. And it looks like I got to go up on the patio furniture, maybe. I probably could have made that. Oh, the patio furniture makes you hop. Oh, these fall. That's just bad. That's bad general contracting. But then again, you know, having grown up in a general contracting household that did good work, I've been I've been shown a lot of general contractors that do really shoddy work. All I can truly say is that that would never happen on my watch. You know, like if we're going to install just like a little overhang down here, we're going to do it right. But okay, so we got one of them. How many did I need? Ow. Okay, I guess there's not fall damage, but you can definitely, like, wound yourself squirrel style if you're not careful about it. Can I just, like, walk into people's homes? Is that a thing that I can do? Hold on, I'm going to do some filth and villainy inside somebody's house. It's locked? Not for long, it's not. Does that open the door? Oh, I can go through the window. I think I see an opening on the window. Oh, I can't go through the window. Okay, we got to figure out another method to get inside the house. Uh, let's give ourselves just a real quick reload. There we go. We got a few more bullets. Can I hide inside the trash can? Oh, I can hide inside the trash can too, just in case I need to kind of like disengage from a situation. Get wrecked. Oh, he's got an Uzi. Hold on, I need the Uzi. How come he's got like Flavor Town gilding all over his suit? Is that normal like government standard issue? What branch of the CIA is that a part of that you get like the you get like the flavor town accompaniment right there? Look at that, dude. All right, I got a real gun now. Sir, can I interest you in our Lord and Savior Mac 11? Down he goes. That's all that it takes. My squirrel is acutely aware of the fact, and also he's just cutely aware of the fact uh, that the weak spot on any human being is the butthole. Really, any entity, in all honesty. I think that goes from, like, elephants to rhinos to human beings. As long as you can access the butthole, you can take that fool out. That's it. It's the glowing red weak spot on every organism. NES style. What is this over here? How come that one's red? How do I get in there? It's like, is this one of those cases where I'm not supposed to be hurting the general public? Damn, barbecue... Uh-oh. Huh. Well, I figured that I ruined the barbecue, but that guy didn't die quite as much as I expected him to die via getting blappered in the face. I'm going to need a little bit more weapon energy because I don't... Actually, I think there was another Uzi over here, right? I can just go get a different Uzi. Here, take this. <laughs> there we go. Now that I'm rearmed with another Uzi, we can go back into this great war that we're having against humankind. Well, there's some kind of tower or something that I can climb over here. There's a bazooka? Oh my goodness! Okay, we're gonna need to we're we're gonna need to figure out that situation. I've got six nuts right now, though. Should probably go to the doctor, but I think that should allow me to unlock something. I think. They brought a tank in to fight a squirrel. Well, at least now we know the Marines are involved. Okay, so the tank lives in a hole in the ground like like a okay so the tank lives deep down inside a hole in the ground like a dwarf gotcha or like a hobbit i'm gonna have to pick up some nuts here in order to get my health back all right give me my uzi back too dude 
very, very rude to deny a squirrel his right to having an Uzi. So there's a bunch of, like, gangsters over here. It looks like there's something up on the roof, though, and I kind of want it. Climb a flagpole to unlock totals for the area. Oh, that's why my stuff isn't filling in. Okay. We got to do the Ubisoft thing here. The real question is, do I get to jump off the top of the flagpole with an eagle sound? So the fenced block has some other stuff. Reload wedge, squirrel on a hot tin roof. All right. Oh, it didn't play an eagle noise when you jumped off the top. Easy opportunity to meme right there, and they missed out on it. All right, let's get on top of this thing right here. Get over the barbed wire. I've only got two bullets left, but I'm going to reload real fast with my... Oh, there's landmines! Okay. Uh-huh. My squirrel just got wasted. And after such a bright and productive future, too. Oh, there's an outfit that resists explosive damage. Well, I did see an outfit over that way. I don't know if I should unlock the pistol just so I have, like, infinite access to pistols. Let's do it. All right, so we've got infinite access to pistols now, so I can always get more... What are you looking at? Yeah, yeah, put all the nuts on the ground. Put them on the ground. What's up? What's up? No quick movements. Want your money, not your life. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. You! What do you want? What you want? Mm-hmm. You, know you know whose block it is. Uh-huh. You know who runs things here. You better pay what you owe. All right. Hold on. There's more humans to hold up. What's inside this house over here? Oh, this one opens. Beautiful. Okay. Yeah. The floor is hot lava. Absolutely. Just a totally normal thing to find in any residential housing sector. This is actually part of the zoning committee. If you don't have this, I highly recommend you talk to your city planner and then fall into the lava and ask if you can have one of these just kind of installed around the neighborhood just to weed out the dumb kids so that in 15 years, you know, you don't have to put up with them once they're a dumb adult. I'm going to leave my gun outside because it fall if it falls in the lava, I'm going to cry myself to sleep. I think I can jump to that little ottoman thing right there. Okay, we got that. We got that. We're all right. Perfect. I need six of these to open whatever. That sweater. I mean, I feel like we're pretty well insulated already, and it doesn't seem to be the winter season, but I could throw that on. Does it do anything for me, or does it just make me look awesome? What is this? Oh, for 50 bucks, I can get a gun over here? All right, let's get the gun real fast, because I see a bunch of those buttons on the wall that need to be pushed. All right, give me a gun. What is this thing? Oh, golden acorn. Nice, dude. There's another one. Add it to the stack. Oh, every time we get a golden acorn, our health and our focus go up. Okay. Shoot that. That falls down. Uh, let me get a reload on my blicky real quick. Yeah, dude, I'm trying to keep this pipe spitting. All right, so we got that right there. And is there any way out of this place? Can I, like, shoot out a window and escape that way? Oh, my God, you can break into houses by shooting out windows. Okay, I guess I just never connected the dots there. I'm going to get into this guy's house real fast. This guy doesn't know me. Like, It looks like there's a way up on the roof over here, though, too. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Hey! Hey, though! Hey, 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 what you got in them pockets? Run it, run it, run it, run it. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Be, be about your business. Be about your business. All right, what you got? Carrying them cargo pants. What kind of cargo you got? You got important things to move from A to B? Let me get it. All right. Oh, yeah, and you know them windows you had installed in your house? That's a done deal. That's... I don't really... Oh, that's just disgusting, bro. Your toilet doesn't attach to the sewer system? Oh, no. That's definitely got to be some kind of violation on the part of the house. That's got to be... The fire marshal cannot be okay with this. I don't know if I can shoot through there. Oh, I can go around. Never mind. I'm just stupid. What did that do for me? 
Did it like blow a hole in the ceiling or anything? It doesn't look like it blew a hole in the ceiling or anything. Doesn't look like there's anything else back here too, but yeah, way too much depth of field on this game. The depth of field is like super aggressive. It looks like we can disable it through the post-processing, but then we're losing access to a lot of the other pretty stuff that goes on too, but at least the game is much more viewable now than it was previously. Like I can actually like see what's going on. Lots of popping as well with some of the environmental objects in all honesty. Like it's not a very complicated game visually, so you think they could avoid that too. Don't forget to save my game. Okay. And my game has now been saved. Perfect. Uh, where'd my gun go? I'm gonna need that. All right, so we'll grab that right there. Where'd my Uzi go? There we go. I need my little Mac 11. Was there anything else inside? Hey, wrong time, wrong place, brother. I need you to know that this isn't personal. Like, this wasn't something that I'm gonna hold against you. Nah, I'm just kidding. Aw, oh, you didn't die, dude? I don't know if it's, like, possible to kill civilians in this game. They may have... Because, like, the thing is... This isn't really altogether that similar from just, like, a squirrel version of Hatred where you're just perpetrating, like, a mass shooting. And so I feel like maybe they keep, like, the en that sort of energy out of the game by just making it overtly over-the-top, non-fatal, and comical. I'm not, like, convinced that I got everything out of this house. Do these doors open? Oh, they do. Good. Hey, buddy. Bye, buddy. Uh, there's a landmine inside the sink. Oh, I guess the explosion knocked him out or something. I don't know. There we go. Wipe these dudes out. I guess government agents are just kind of like living here. I don't know what this neighborhood is, but I guess it requires government surveillance. There we go. Let me get a little bit more reload energy. That's what I'm talking. There's three outfits in this place. I only I haven't even found one yet. Okay, let's keep cruising around. Let's check this thing. Ah, there's one. A dress. Okay, I can be a pretty lady squirrel. What else we got around here? Anything else that's looking like top tier that we need to have inside of our possession? Bunch of little plants and things. Kind of a weird interior decorating style. I'm also not a big fan of the wallpaper. Frankly, these agents deserve to get shot. What's this guy want? Can I lift that? I can. Okay, that didn't do exactly what I wanted it to do. I guess I fixed his neck. Oh, I fixed his neck so he's gonna poop out a golden acorn for me. I guess I'm a chiropractor now. It's a good thing I almost shot you. I guess the kettlebell was what he was working out with before he wounded himself. I'm gonna blow out that side window and just kinda like get on out here, you know what I mean? There we go. Cookout party has five of these things. Is there a flagpole around here that I can climb? There's electrical pole. There's a flagpole right there. Let me see if I can climb that thing. Because we definitely need to pick up a f I mean it's a fun exploration game. We need to pick up a few more things to get our next unlocks. But like it's a fun little it's like Banjo kazooie with a ridiculous premise. I don't hate it. You know, it's like obviously using all assets and I think the game just kind of leans into it and is like, whatever, man, and just tries to have fun with it. Uh, the controls seem to be reasonably decent while you're moving around with your squirrel, just in general. I don't know, this seems like a really bad idea. Can I open this? How do I open that? Do I have to like climb it? It looks climbable. There we go, perfect. 
And so if you're into these sorts of things, it might be the type of game that you're taking a look at. I do think a lot of the post-processing effects are layered on way too thick, like too much makeup, and it definitely gets in the way of kind of enjoying the game, but luckily we were able to disable those about midway through. But my name is Splattercat, I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile in the world of indie games every single day so that you don't have to. I think this game's success is virtually guaranteed just given the ludicrous, hilarious subject matter. This is definitely one of those cases where you've got an N64 style 3D platforming game that is held together almost entirely despite other things going on by its premise. It's just ludicrously funny. Even if you've got a jaded, cynical heart like I do, it still comes across in... Is that mine right there? Oh, you guys didn't even notice? These guys want food? Oh, I wonder if I put burgers on all their plates. If they will be happy. Okay, there's one right there. I don't really want to get on the grill. That seems like maybe it might be a little bit dangerous. Huh. Is it because the meat isn't cooked? I bet you that's what it is, dude. I bet the meat has to be cooked. A golden gas tank needs big firepower to rupture or small flame. Well, the good news is over here I saw a propane tank when I was just kind of like looking around. And so I do think that this has a number of exploratory and sort of experimental aspects to it that are definitely going to work for a certain personality type that enjoys games like Kindergarten and whatnot, where you're just trying to figure out the way to progress like the next little bit. Oh, I guess I get the acorn that way. I thought I had to light this thing, and then I was going to put the meat on there till it cooked, and then put all the meat on everybody's plates. I'm not totally convinced that I'm still not supposed to do something like that, but it's sort of hard to say. As of right now, though, I need a reload. What do you want? Hey, get back get back over here, bro. What are you trying to do? Why are you making me chase you around? Yeah, there we go. Fall down. Give me those nuts. Yeah, let me get him. Get held up. Aw, oh, dude, I think he knows my gun is empty. Rip. I got to get a reload. Oh, there's a golden one up underneath the house, too. I think there was a corner that I could get into over here, so I don't need to go all the way back around. At least I recall there being, like, a weird corner over here. Either way, this is Squirrel with a Gun. It probably isn't worth 20 bucks, which is the current asking price. I'd probably wait until you could get it for like 10 bucks, and then it'll be cheap enough to still remain funny, even though the game kind of has like one gimmick going for it. My name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile in the world of indie games every single day so you don't have to. It's funny, dude. It's funny. That's what I'll leave it at. Is like, is it the best game on earth? Is it the tightest, most polished platformer ever made? No, but it is funny. It is ridiculously funny and I think leaning into that humor is going to lead to the game being a big hit I will see you all later thanks for stopping on in and that's about all I got for you bye folks